Hello TGIF and welcome everyone, I'm your host John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. Today I have a video which is out of this world, yeah, that's right. And I am excited about it, in fact it brings up and it conjures so many childhood memories for myself because, well, I grew up watching this film. And as you can see from above, it is of course E.T. Now. If you like what you see, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Leave a comment, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are at the end of the video. And also, of course, make sure you have that notification bell rung as well. Finally, please check out the description down below where you can find a link to the Silver Trader, the Precious Metal Forum, and of course my own personal website, Ace Bullion. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. So when I said I had an out of this world video, I meant it. Now I'm going to start off on, well, the flip side of the coin, so to speak. Normally I'll show you the queen's face or whatever denomination, whatever it may be. And I will show that first, but well, yeah, today I'm going to start off straight away with the mean design and then go over onto the reverse because it is actually really special. Now, I thought I wasn't going to enjoy this coin at all, and I wasn't really too sure about it, uh, especially when I saw the photos, because the photos can be one thing. I've said this in my videos before, and I'll say it again. The photos can be look amazing. They can be matted, glossed in certain areas, and of course, when they come out and they're released, they're totally different. Well, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this one here. Here it is, E.T. Yeah, that's right, as I said, it is out of this world. Now, E.T. is a iconic, and I, I, I just can't say that enough, iconic image, and it is amazing. Now, I was really worried whether or not this was gonna go down a route that, well, I just couldn't speak about on YouTube. And I thought, oh God, here we go, you know, E.T., you know, ouch and you know all of these things and you know phone home and there's a whole heap of stuff that comes to my mind but you take a look on this main image and it's just amazing and we'll have a good look at it uh in just a second but i said i wanted to start on this side just to show you what it's like let me flip it over before zooming in showing you all these details here and then we can go over and see the other bits but look at this we have a milled and reeded edge and then look at the moon and if you don't remember this scene hold on one second so this is the iconic image when i see et in my brain when i remember when i was a child when i was watching this in the movie theaters it was incredible now can you believe it that they're actually celebrating 40 years? Holy cow, I feel, well, I, I'm just old. Let's be brutally honest here. I am old. Um, and yes, it is a coin. We can see down below here a $2 denomination, and I will zoom in in a second. But look at this giant moon. We have, I, I can't remember his name, the little boy, and E.T. riding in the basket making it all happen. Now, I do remember, if memory serves, that there was a couple of other bicycles behind, but moving on, because uh, I think it was his sister. But this is the image here, and it is spectacular. It is just out of this world. And yeah, I'll stress it. Now, this is brought to you by the New Zealand Mint, but it is working in collaboration um, through the uh, coin company. Uh, well, that's what it's licensed by, uh, but working with of course, at Max. And I mean, on the 26th of May, this, what was it, 1982, uh, this movie was first released. Now, okay, yeah, there's nothing hugely special about the bicycle apart from 
yeah, hold on. Look at the spokes. Now, if you guys remember those BMXs and everything else, look, you can actually see the spokes. Those are the little parts in between the, uh, the wheel, by the way, okay? And it is truly amazing. Now, we have a $2 denomination here, and we have the Republic Seal of Nui. Uh, so, as I said, again, it is a coin. Look at the texture on it. It is, I mean, it's the crater of the moon. Come on. Who doesn't just think that is epic? So, no queen's face, no kind of anything there in your face. It really is just a beautiful, beautiful design. And for them to make this a feature, you know, I thought I'd seen it all. Um, but I'm actually hugely surprised by this. I love the gloss image. I love the fact that this is not your typical matting on the coin. And instead, they've used texture and everything else with it. It really is just amazing. Now, let's get back to the main design here. And we have a one ounce, three nines fine silver. Uh, of course, we have ET, which does stand for extraterrestrial. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Uh, his finger's not glowing here, but that's really cool because he's not really making contact. It didn't glow all the time. Um, but yeah, there we go. And as we can see here, if I can get it, it says the extraterrestrial. Dun, dun, dun. My God, my goodness. Uh, now, whoops, I'll just drop the coin, shall I? That's fine. Um, we have Universal City uh, Studios LLC, all rights reserved. And it is a copyright there. And we have the little number 40. Now look at inside the zero. They've emulated the reverse here of, <coughs> excuse me, the moon as a whole, because the, the whole 40 is surrounded. But look inside and what do we have? Well, we have... Well, we have a blurred out image. Hold on. Sorry about that. So yeah, we have a blurred out image, but it is of course him riding his bicycle with ET on the front of it. And it is spectacular. Now ET's design as a whole is amazing. Look at his cute little face. I mean, sorry, I, I really, I think that is kind of cool. Um, they did capture extremely well, especially on just a piece of silver, which is, I say just a piece of silver, meaning, you know, they haven't colorized it or done anything else. Now, this really is just spectacular. I love it a lot. I think it's amazing. Uh, one of my main concerns here, of course, with it being, you know, something that, you know, is associated with Atmax would be rim damage and all sorts. On this coin here, I don't really see any major or any kind of imperfections, but expect them. I mean, they do come. This is in a really small, I mean, Jesus, you can see there, I'm getting a little fluff coming out. Um, really small, thin capsule, and it's just amazing. Um, what was your first memory of ET? Did you guys find that creepy when it first came out, or were you actually mesmerized? I mean, uh, as I said, the movie first came out on the 26th of May. Uh, that was the premiere and, you know, for all the celebs and all that kind of stuff. But it was released across the USA, you know, where, as you guys know, I'm originally from, uh, on the 11th of June in the same year, 1982. And it made one heck of a splash. Now, this does have a really reflective mirror design. And so with that reflective design, of course, it might show up any kind of imperfections on the capsule. Um, please understand it's not necessarily with the coin, but of course it will just be on the capsule. The capsules absorb any kind of scratches, imperfections, and so on. Uh, that's why you have capsules. That's why you keep them safe. Well, that's one of the reasons. Plus you don't want tarnishing, do you? So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and opinions are and what you think of this out of this world coin and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic friday wherever you may be oh i forgot to say the mintage here is twenty six thousand. why 26 and not 25 i don't know but it's still a fairly decent mintage especially as a gift this is a really cool thing for anyone well anyone 
let's be honest here it's cool thank you again for watching have a great weekend everyone bye for now